Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time we're gonna test out Tab S7's second serene feature. It basically lets you turn your Tab S7 into a drawing tablet. This is an updated video to this video right here. We're gonna see is the drawing feature working now. I've been using this the past couple months and it's been so useful for work and I use it mostly on Photoshop. So I want to test the pressure on there as well as some other programs to see if the pressure sensitivity has improved. So let's get right into it. To connect again, make sure you go down on your notification bar, slide, look for the second screen feature and you'll be able to connect. Press uh, the Windows icon plus K so your so the Tab S7 can come up and I must add that this only works on the Tab S7 and S7 Plus at the moment. I'm not sure of any other tablets but it does not work on the Tab S6 Lite. If you guys want to know a similar feature, try Super Display. I'm going to be making a follow-up video on that as well so let's get right into it. Let's open up Photoshop. And yeah, as you guys can see, this is all wireless mode on the Tab S7. I'm not connected to anything. This is just using Bluetooth and it's pretty awesome. So let me show you guys as Photoshop loads, display settings, identify. It actually comes up as a second screen. You can adjust the resolutions and things like that. So it's pretty cool. So that means I could drag things over. You know what? I think I'm just gonna duplicate instead of uh, extend it. So I don't have to drag things, but let me show you guys that really quick. I can just drag windows to it over here. Let me just have it duplicate instead of mirroring so I can just focus everything on the Tab S7. The laptop I'm using right now is the Dell this number. Um, they'll send, kindly send me out this laptop and I'll leave everything to link down below. So let's duplicate this display. Keep changes. And now whatever I do on here. So right now the S Pen isn't working. So let me try something. Let's see, you guys, you guys I gotta make sure to check this little checkbox. Let's see if that will help. All right, and now it's working. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. All right, guys, we're in Photoshop. I'm gonna create a new layer. And let me go on brushes. And the pressure is working this time. Oh my gosh, you guys watched that first video. I had trouble getting pressure to work on this. And the brush set that I'm using is the Danica Sills brush set. I'll link that video down below. It's a free brush set that she has. Let me bring this a little bit closer to me. One moment. I'll also link my tablet stand down below. It's really cute. It's from Amazon. So let me lower my brush. Let's see, does it... It doesn't get my palm. Oh my gosh, the palm rejection also works. Oh man, this is nice. As you guys can see, later on in the video, I'll try to do a quick little speed paint in Photoshop since the brushes are working. I love this. Let me try my other brush, this textured one. Oh yeah, the pressure works, guys. I'm sorry, it's ugly sketches right now, but we're testing pressure. So let's go on into our next program. All right guys, so we're gonna try Clip Paint Studio next, the desktop version. Let's open it up. Um, I know Clip Paint Studio is on Android, but it's a subscription model. So with something like this, you can bypass and just use your desktop one time um, buying option. So that way you don't have to buy the app two times. So far, it looks like the pressure's working. I'm having some, in some lines, it's not consistent. So I'll have to try that out for a longer period of time, but it's definitely working. And in the comments of my first video, a lot of you guys were saying it's working for some of you guys as well in some of these programs. Maybe let me try another brush. Maybe it's because I'm using this type of pencil. Let's just use this one. Okay, so the quality is a little bit inconsistent with Clip Paint Studio too. Maybe I just need to recalibrate um, the pen. Let me see. Pin pressure settings. All right, let's recalibrate. All right, let me clear the layer. Let's try again. Oh, no, there's still a little bit of a lag in Clip Paint Studio. So let me show you guys the difference in the Clip Paint Studio app that's on 
10 by 7. Uh, second screen has a little bit of a bubble, so I can easily come back to it by just doing it like this. Um, that's a recent drawing I completed. Let me create a new file. Let me do that same brush, SU Cream Pencil. Oh man, it's acting up as well. So I think there might be an issue with my nib. I The way I replaced it, I replaced it wrong. So oh, one moment, guys, let me try to fix it. Sadly, I don't have my spare nibs with me, so I'm gonna try my regular S Pen from my Note 10 Plus just to see if it is the nib as I think it is. Um, and I was right, it is the nib. So let's go back. This is the uh, Clip Paint Studio on Android natively. Now let's go back to Tab S7, um, the second screen feature, and let's try that again. Oh, it's working better, guys. I'm so sorry. So it's un it's great that this happened on video. So if that is happening to you, make sure you double check your nib. See, mine's like wobbling. It's like curving a little bit compared to um, the one on my phone. So if you're having some issues, try troubleshooting this way as well. And let me know if it works for you. So yeah, it does work in Paint Studio. I can really easily create a sketch. Oh man, let me try another pencil. Even the lighter pencil works now. Uh, let me go back to Photoshop, just so that way you guys can see. All right, it was, it was my nib. Just be careful, guys. The way you, you change your nibs, that it's not bending. Because if it's bending, it's gonna affect the drawing. So it works, guys. It works. So so far, Photoshop CC, the Paint Studio desktop version, it works. Let's move on to our next program. All right, let's try Adobe Illustrator next. Let's see, it's my only vector program, so let's see if it's working. Let me switch the brush. Oh man, with Illustrator, I still have some trouble getting the brush, regular just brush to just works. Uh, let me try the pen tool. I think the pen tool, of course, will work. Uh, my stroke is white, let's see. The regular just pen tool, the vector pen tool works, uh, but the freeform brush tool for some reason isn't working for me. Oh no, now it's working. Oh, there we go. For some reason, I kept switching my inputs. So that's awesome. Let's see, let me create a new layer. Let me hide this. Let me see if it's just let me freeform draw. Uh, it looks like it does. Oh. So this can be really convenient for a lot of um, projects. Let me bring up my window tool so I could switch my brush. Let's see. I want to see the control bar. Let's change our brush to this one. Let's see. Mm, I guess it doesn't change the, it doesn't change. So I guess that's something we could just do manually if we just click and change. But that's cool. So it looks like it's working in Illustrator. All right, guys, I have paint tool side open. Let's see if it works on it. All right, it looks like I opened up but the pressure isn't working. Let me see. All right, um, I'm not sure how to get pressure working on paint tool side. Let's see. Yeah, it's just, let me try another brush. Maybe the marker tool. Okay, so paint tool side, I still have trouble with the pressure working. So if you guys have any troubleshoot for that, help. Uh, but for now, I'm really happy that it works with Photoshop. I'm actually gonna rotate it this way. And uh, to get that orientation on here, we're gonna have to stop duplicating our screen. So give me one moment. Display settings. Also, you guys can see, let me rotate it this way. We're gonna stop duplicating it. We're gonna extend this displays. And now I have it. I'm gonna have it this way. Now I'm gonna drag Photoshop to it. I'm gonna have to resize. Oh, there we go. For this to work, I'm gonna have to hide everything. There we go. So that way I can just use it as like a digital tablet. Let's see, does zoom in and zoom in out work? Oh, it, it does, it does. Oh my, this is really convenient. I have Photoshop on the Tab 7. <laughs> Let me know any other industry apps that you guys want me to try. I basically mostly just use Clip Paint Studio and Photoshop in the whole Adobe suite. So, oh man, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. The fantastic thing about this is that it's another monitor. So if I go over here, I could pull up my references or be doing anything else. So speaking about references, let me pull up my references. I'm gonna be drawing Ilulu from Dragon Maid. I already drew her traditionally, so I wanna do a quick sketch of her digitally too. So let's see. Guys, 
guys, it's actually pretty hard to draw on that stand. It's just to hold up the, the tablet. I wouldn't recommend drawing on it. It's very difficult. So I'm putting this down and let's draw. Guys, I've been using this feature for over a couple months now, and this is the first time I'm actually drawing on it. I mostly use this with Photoshop to do graphic design and with Premiere for editing. This has been such a joy just because it works so seamlessly. So this is actually my very first time actually trying out the pressure and really drawing in Photoshop with this. I must say, everything works like a charm, being able to zoom in, the pressure, all the different tools oh man even though photoshop isn't my most favorite tool to draw on i prefer clip paint studio but it's really nice especially a lot of the times for my thumbnails i need to do small little doodles on them even like photo editing oh man oh i can do a whole separate video on that to show you guys how it actually works and on the go i've been actually really busy going on different business trips i'm not always home i didn't film this at home and yeah this has come so useful especially since sometimes i have trouble getting other third-party apps to work like this even on my ipad um on android super display easy canvas gives me issue so this has been a dream and i must say this does not work on all of my devices on my main pc this feature does not work and so i don't know if it's something with my graphics card or anything but i can only get this to work on certain laptops so i'm not sure why so if you guys are having some issues you can post them down below maybe somebody else may be having the same issue if you really need this to work i recommend contacting samsung customer support or maybe join my discord server there's a lot of like-minded people there i've been super busy that i haven't been able to get back to everybody but i love this guys this is is a game changer oh, i can't wait till more apps come and work samsung took their time and really fine-tuned this and it works like a charm and i can't wait till it comes to more devices but for now i'll be talking about some of the other alternatives out there so let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye